Someone asked me a very interesting question yesterday. Is it ever okay to lie under certain circumstances? For example, the protection of innocent life. Say it's World War II and you're hiding Jews in the house and Nazis come to the door, they knock on the door and they say, are there any Jews here? And you say no. And that results in their lives being saved, which is a greater good. I've heard this concept raised before um, being called righteous deception. It reminds me of the book of Joshua, the story of Rahab, where she hides the spies and lies about it and God commends her. And people say, well, why did God commend her for lying? But this is a misconception. There are two separate actions there. There's the hiding of the spies and then there's the lying. She was commended for hiding the spies, but the Bible remains silent on the lying. So is it ever okay to lie under certain circumstances like that? I don't believe it is ever okay to lie. I think the Bible is explicitly clear on this. It says that thou shalt not bear false witness. It tells us outright that lying is an absolute sin. And because the Bible is so clear on this, there would have to be an equally clear passage or verse which shows us that it is okay to lie under certain circumstances and that isn't contained in the Bible. I've actually heard of stories before like where someone is carrying Bibles into a, a, a communist country where Bibles are banned and the, the people will ask, what's in the back of your vehicle? And they'll say Bibles and the people will laugh and let them through because who would tell the truth? There was also a story in a Corrie Ten Boom book where her, where her sister, um, I think it was Jews, were under the table in front of them and the, the soldiers asked, where are the Jews? And, and she said, under the table and they laughed and went out. It shows that God can honour our faith and our obedience rather than us resorting to sinning. But someone might say, well, there are probably plenty of cases where people weren't that fortunate and in the end they, they told the truth and the people were captured and they were killed. But even though that might be the case, it doesn't change the fact that we are commanded not to lie. And that's the bottom line. And whatever happens to us, we are called to live in obedience, in accordance with God's word, and God will honor us whatever the result is. We can't just be pragmatic and use these end justifies the means arguments. Oh, it's okay to sin under this circumstance because it results in this. We just don't see that in the Bible. And I understand that it's very easy for me to sit here because I'm not in the circumstance and to be able to say this. But whether it's easy or not easy, the truth remains of what scripture says and it says that we are not to lie. It's plain and simple and nowhere does it say under certain circumstances we are allowed to lie. The thought came to mind to me, imagine if Jesus was, was in a house with his disciples and people were after the disciples and they come to the door and say, Jesus, are your disciples here? And he says, no, turns them away and saves their lives. How would you feel about that? I mean, that just makes me feel so uncomfortable. Obviously that didn't happen, but just thinking of Jesus telling a lie like that, um, it doesn't fit with the character of the person of who he is. And that aside, the Bible is clear, like I said, that lying is a sin. I think it's so easy to justify things in our own human thinking to think, well, if I do this, it will be a good thing because it will result in this. End justifies the means. If I make a little bit of a compromise here, it's okay because it results in this. But that's not the way the Word of God works. And we have to align ourselves with what the Bible says, no matter what that is and no matter what the consequences are. And I know that God honors that, whether in life, whether in death. We need to be in alignment with the Word of God. Unless one can provide specific scriptures where it says it's okay to lie under certain circumstances, then I don't see how that's possible. And none of those scriptures exist. I'd love to hear your thoughts below. Leave them and I uh, look forward to talking to you in the comments.